driven into Sacramento south from Highway 160, you may have noticed there's some artwork as you start to enter town. In case our thieves may side joining us from 12th Street and may tell us a little bit about these two artists and the artwork. Well, they live here. They drive through this tunnel every day for work. And if you've driven through this tunnel, then you know it just looks like any other tunnel, right? Just some gray concrete. But they decided, hey, what would it look like if we added a little bit of light to it? So you can see here, they're planning this mural, this art project through the tunnel to try to give it some light, to try to give it some art, to try to give it some meaning as well. And they still need the community's help. Sacramento artist Sophia Lechin and Hennessy Christopher pass through the 12th Street Tunnel in Sacramento on their way to work every day. You just try to kind of shut it out and not take it in. And I think people, a lot of people have been doing that for a long time. The owners of LC Mural and Design say it's known as one of the ugliest spots in Sacramento. So they decided to give it some light. It's our oldest gateway into downtown Sacramento, and we just really felt like it could use some color and light, improve safety, improve people's moods as they pass through. The hope is to transform the 12th Street underpass into a bright and colorful abstract piece of art through the project dubbed Contagious Color. We spent a lot of time um, studying broken windows theory, which is all about, you know, if something's broken down and it's not really fixed. Um, the problem isn't addressed. It just kind of continues to attract that kind of abuse. Fundraising efforts are underway for the project that connects Sacramento's River District to the downtown grid. Lechin says the city of Sacramento has provided more than $30,000 in donations, and some money has also come from city organizations and businesses. It's been really rewarding working out here. I mean, um, we have a lot of people passing by every day. I mean, this is... What do they say to you? Um, a lot of people are just kind of like, you know, yeah, something finally is happening to change this place. The artists are reaching out to businesses to raise the remaining 25000 hoping to wrap up the project by the end of November, giving back to their community something they hope they'll be truly thankful for. In Sacramento. And guys, one of the goals of this project is to prevent tagging on this wall. And in talking to artists yesterday, they said they're so happy to see they've been doing this now for three weeks out here. And as you can see, there is no tagging on the project so far. So pretty cool. That is nice. I know a lot of our coworkers have come that way into work, so yeah. it's been nice, nice like little diversion to see what's up there. Yeah, yeah, much, much better. Thank you, May. Interesting.